Hi there. Um, I'm now going to talk through the final piece of for Darren. Um, Darren Leach is a six foot seven Paralympian swimmer. He was particularly successful at the time of the Sydney Games, and uh, which he won two silvers and two bronzes. Darren was sort of one of our golden boys in the Paralympian swimming. At one time, he was world champion, European champion. Um, he's been national and regional champion so many times that when I asked him if I could have a look at his medals. He brought a couple of sacks along and tipped them up and he's got over 100, I think it was about 110 he said, um, and at the time that he mislaid a couple. If you want to see Darren, he's a very, very nice bloke and just loving him fun. Um, there is, amongst my videos earlier on, there's an interview with Darren about being cast and uh, he's just charming. He's in the Paralympics because he's sight impaired. It, um, he says that he can actually see an area about the size of a, a sort of a matchbox in the middle of his vision. Um, sometimes that's even that's a bit blurred, but he said it's enough for him to be able to see the other end of the pool, which is you know quite useful. Um, and being such a big chap, he was really strong. I had I was lucky to have um, the BBC and Meridian came to film me um, when I cast him, and that was televised in the UK. Um, at that time, which was fun, it was, it was good fun doing that. He's so tall that I had to stand on granny steps. We have, um, we drive around in a Range Rover, and um, my mother-in-law struggles to jump into it, and so we've got sort of what we call the granny steps that that we put for her to climb on to get in the car, and I had to use the granny steps to be able to actually reach up and get on and do um, down shoulders because there's just no way to reach otherwise. Um, anyway, this is this is Darren in silver. Um, the piece, once again, the piece, um, I cast Darren's body in plaster impregnated bandage. I put the clay in, into that, um, put the mould together, waited for it to dry and firm up enough for me to stand it up. Stood it up, took the plaster off, spent a few days cleaning the plaster off, um, because there is a big problem about plaster going in the kiln. It can explode when it heats up, which can be exciting. Um, and so I cleaned them all off and then I spent quite a long time uh, putting on the, de the decorative surface. And this one's to do with Sydney and because he's a swimmer and because he's actually one of those very fluid people and, and having watched him train, which is amazing, um, I wanted to sort of like capture that sort of the flowing, the, the, the fluidity of his movement but also suggest wave movement. So on the piece... I've got, um, I don't know what you can see, let me release you from this, here we go. On, on his body up here, those are, represent the four medals, and they sweep down, they sweep down in a curve down here. You come over to an image of him preparing to dive there, and then two of him diving through, one there and one there. So you've got that sweep, that going across there. Then over here I've got representations of the Sydney Opera House, which is one of the most beautiful buildings I've never seen. Um, so if any of you are in Australia and want to invite me over, oh, I'd love to see this, um, which is obviously in a series of waveforms there and there. Um, here I've got the side of the swimming pool, some photographs I took of him on the pool, so this side of the pool that shoots you back up here. And then here there's um, a splash, I, I took some pictures of him diving, there was a splash and I just copied the splash onto there. And then underneath here, this tumble of what looks like droplets are actually some of his many, many medals and the, the ribbons for those going up into the water. Um, it's going to go back to Lorraine because Lorraine's going to, um, oh, sorry, are you caught? Yeah, I think you're on there now. Um, because Lorraine's going to put some darker waxes into the grooves around it so that the imagery stands out a little bit stronger. So that when Darren, Darren's coming this week, we've got um, Kent Life coming over to do an interview. Um, because Darren lives in Tunbridge and Kent Life is um, this beautiful local magazine. I live sort of on the Kent-Sussex um, border, so I'm lucky that both Sussex Life and Kent Life have been interested in what I'm doing. Um, but we, I, I want um, 
the ray just to put some darker wax into the grooves so that there's, there's, it's slightly stronger visibility. So that when Darren comes over to see it for the first time, um, he can actually see it more clearly than now. I mean, he's only going to be able to see it very close up and in bits, but I'm hoping that he'll be able to experience that. And um, I'll, I'll, video, I'll video when he comes to see it, because I'd be really nice just to see that. Um, I'll show you his back. This is a bit heavy. And on, on his back, as with the other Olympians, I've got like a stylized musculature. Um, I've got a, a book on anatomy and I've just gone through looking at the, the layers of muscles and I've, I've based them down onto into like a pattern form really. The, the straps coming through here, these are just extensions of him being wrapped up in the Union flag. Some people call it the Union Jack, but it is the Union flag and wrapping around his body. So that's his sort of like being held by Great Britain. Anyway, it's finished. Right, bye bye.